Um, starters, hats off to our fans. Uh, another sellout. It was unbelievably loud. Uh, it, it impacted the game. Our, our players were loving it. And it was extremely loud out there uh, the entire game. And uh, we need them uh, back here again at 11 o'clock next week because they make a huge difference for us. And uh, can't thank our fans enough for uh, coming out and, and selling this place out again. Um, great job by Coach Klanderman. Great job by Coach Klein and the staffs coming up with phenomenal game plans. And then our guys owning those game plans every day this week. We got better every day. Our prep was really good, and we executed at a really high level um, the entire the entire game because we executed at a high level all week. And uh, I thought when we left Texas Tech, we were becoming a little bit better football team in all phases, and it clicked tonight. And uh, I, I'm super excited for our players and for our coaches and for our fans. Um, because that's a good football team. You, you guys know as well as I do, they're a really good team. Um, and uh, we were clicking on all cylinders. And um, to get, whatever, 587 yards uh, and 343 yards rushing, and a lot of guys contributed. And we talked about this. When a bunch of guys love each other and they don't care who gets credit, really special things can happen. And uh, it happened tonight. Um, they did tonight. That's a really good offense that's averaging 40 points or something, but more importantly, 80 plays. You saw the tempo of how fast they were going. And uh, uh, we had a great plan, and those kids executed at a high level. One of the guys that does not get enough credit on defense, and he should, is Jake Clifton. Um, we, we lost Romaine last week. Uh, to an injury, so we we said to Jake, now you got to go play a different position, and he had to play Mike backer the whole game. It's really hard to play uh, any of our three linebacker positions, but that kid has played all three uh, in three consecutive weeks, and so uh, I thought we dominated the game up front. They're really good. That running back's a stud. We needed to get pressure on the quarterback. We did, and I thought we covered as well as we've covered all year. I thought we were talking about the defense. Yeah, you were. OK, <laughs> you're moving on. Yeah, and we knew that there was going to be some mistakes. Um, but there was going to be some splash plays, too. And um, um, Colin and I had a good plan uh, all along. Uh, and being I'm on that side of the ball on, on defense, guys, that's really hard. That's really hard when you don't know who's coming in the game. And you can make the adjustment, and then the other guy comes in, and then you got to go back to that. And, and then that guy runs a series, and you make the adjustment, and you come back. Um, is it what we want to do um, all season? I don't know. I don't think so. But like last week, it worked. And like this week, it really worked because it's really hard to do what those guys do. And those two. Players, um, Avery played really well. Um, Will Howard's our unquestioned leader on this football team, guys. And, um, you know, it was hard on Will, but he is the blood, lifeblood of our offense. And that kid is still a captain. And that kid is still a guy that hoisted a Big 12 championship trophy. Um, and he's a dang good football player. And um, I love the kid because. He just went back to work and said, I, I got to play better. And he did. He played He played well. Avery played well. We're going to need both of those guys as we still have a lot of football left. Chris, what made you come to the conclusion that we want to split them right down the middle, one guy this series, one guy this series? Just a hunch that we had. And I don't want to make any more of it than what it is. Uh, as far as um, we had some things on the card that we thought both guys could do really well. Um, I thought Will ran the ball well the first few series, and I thought Avery threw two dimes to Jace Brown. And that's the thing. One can, can do, they both can do both. And, and I, I, I think some of the thought was, well, one's a, a thrower, one's a runner. They're both really good quarterbacks. A big spark. Um, he's been coming along. You know, he's like one of those uh, 
Austin Romains and um, you know some of the guys that uh, you maybe don't hear about a ton, uh, but he's getting better and better. Uh, Keenan Garber getting better and better. But I thought Jace Brown having that speed and having that uh, next level gear, uh, and and he made a couple of tough catches. And uh, it's fun to see a true freshman gaining that confidence. Yeah, um, Des is an all-conference player and uh, one of our one of our best football players, and has made himself a tremendous football player. And um, he he hits people and they go backwards. And he had a big time pick. I think he's mad. He probably could have had another pick, um, but. Um, you know, when you have bookends of, of Austin Moore and, and Des Purnell, uh, your defense has got really good edges. And last year against TCU, Deuce had a lot of success catching the ball out of the backfield. Was that kind of a priority going into the game? Was getting the ball in the backfield? Well, we thought we had some things that we could do out of some specific formations. And, and when you're able to rush the football like we were, a lot of those things open up. Um, and uh, I thought uh, I thought Will made a great read in getting DJ the ball one time. They they cut him loose, and he got it to him quickly enough that he was able to take it for whenever a six-yard touchdown or something. Um, that that was big. And then I thought the emergence of Oakley, because Oak made a really good play and then had the touchdown that's called back, and the emergence of Swanee when we lost Ben were huge. And then just talk about your offensive line. It seems like two games in a row. Yeah. Yeah, they they're doing a really good job, and we're we're playing seven guys, I believe, and keeping those guys as fresh as we can. Um, we have to be able to rush the football because it sets everything else up. No, it's not perfect, but it seems like you're limiting the explosives a little bit more. What are you talking about? Oh, just communication more than anything. Some of our breakdowns have been communication, and I think that uh, Coach Klanderman's doing a really good job of simplifying some things um, and uh, emphasizing the communication. Uh, they, they've got really good offense. I thought that running back was a special player, um, but not giving up and being able to track him and tackle him, holding him to, to the three points one time. The start of the second half, I knew they were going to make a run. I mean, they did last year when we were down there. And they have a great drive, and we were able to get off the field on fourth down and then take that thing about eight minutes and eat up all the third quarter. That was a huge momentum switch, even though it was 27 to three, but we got to stop when they had to score, and we took about eight minutes and scored. I was trying to say, teams are probably starting to realize the play attack. Keenan Garber as much as Dan Garber. Yeah, Keenan's getting more and more confident. And, um, you know, less than a year ago, he was a wideout. And so he's doing some really good things and continuing to get better. Was this about as perfect of a split running back wise as, as you guys have had this season? I'd have to ask Coach Anderson that. I just knew both guys were going to play. Uh, I knew DJ was going to get uh, um, some reps, and, and whether it was in the passing game or uh, run game, I, I knew we were going to play both guys, and we have great confidence in both guys. Want to get your reaction to the last two series? Will Swanson gets a touchdown. I know it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you guys can get on Will a little bit because I was Will Howard because I was so hoping that Swanee was going to get a touchdown and I was giving Will some grief and I said if you short arm that thing and that kid gets it down at the half inch yard line has he scored a touchdown he goes no he hasn't so we we're glad that one got overturned because that was a great thing for for Will Swanson worked his butt off for a lot of years here um, and then we wanted to get a stop and. It was Des Purnell and Austin Moore on the timeouts and stuff. Come on, guys, you got to make a play. And Kendra Steiger, who's getting better as well. He's another guy that um, slowly starting to play a little bit more coming off his injury uh, last spring, um, made a big-time play. That was huge for us to hold those guys out. I know it. Yeah, that's just a bunch of guys in the locker room that love each other, that want success, and they don't care uh, who gets the credit for it. And uh, Swanson's worked his tail off ever since he walked in the door here. And also he had a big-time catch on a third down play, and then to be able to get that touchdown. Um, guys like that, people root for. Thanks. Okay, thanks, everyone.